Welcome to sunny southwestern Florida. Today, I'm going to show you two relatively lesser known islands you can visit right off of Fort Myers. Our first stop is Cabbage Key, a great place to go for lunch or even an overnight stay. A visit to Cabbage Key will give you a look into Old World Florida. After that, our next stop is Cayo Costa State Park. Cayo Costa State Park is a great place to go to spend a day at the beach, or even go camping. But the beaches at Cayo Costa State Park aren't your average Florida beach. They are all beautiful, long, white sand beaches with relatively few people, and they are completely undeveloped. I think that's about all that's needed for an intro to this video. Let's get out on the water. Welcome to Cabbage Key. Cabbage Key is a small island off of Pine Island in Lee County, west of Fort Myers in Florida. This island is home to a few houses, no cars, no roads, one inn, and one restaurant. This island is only about 100 acres and is only accessible by boat, but there are multiple ferry services and water taxis that come out here. I'll put more information about that in the description. A lot of people do day trips to this island. They come for lunch at the restaurant. If you go inside the restaurant, there's a tradition of taping a dollar bill to the wall or the ceiling. There are a ton of them in there. Estimates say there's about seventy to $100,000 in dollar bills taped to these walls. And every time a dollar bill falls on the floor, they collect it and donate it to charity. Activities that people like to do on this island include hiking and kayaking. There's a few nature trails that go around the island, and there's a lot of mangroves too, so there's a lot you can see from a kayak. The hotel was built in 1938, so it's been around for a while. It has about six rooms and seven different cottages that you can rent. There is a two-night minimum, but it's definitely something I want to come back and do someday. It's really beautiful here. One of the things I was really excited to see here were the resident gopher tortoises. They each have a little pen with a little turtle cave where they live, but they roam about freely and even come up to the tables at the restaurant sometimes. in Cayo Costa State Park. Cayo Costa is another island off of Pine Island, and it's one of the largest barrier islands in Florida. This is another spot that's only accessible by boat, but there are ferries that you can take to this island as well. That information will be in the description. The ferry drops off at a large dock near where you would also park your own boat if you come that way. Parking for private boats is $5, and there's a park entrance fee of $2 for everyone that comes to the island. From the dock area, it's about a mile walk down a flat path lined with trees to the beach on the gulf side of the island. There's also an open air free tram that goes back and forth from the landing to the beach. Cayo Costa State Park is a seven mile long island with miles of untouched white sand beaches. If you're in Florida and you want to spend some time in nature, away from some of the more crowded beaches in Fort Myers, this is a great place to come. Popular activities on Cayo Costa are camping, swimming, shelling, and fishing. Yes, I said camping. You can stay out here in one of their tent sites or in one of the primitive cabins. I'll leave a link to more information about reservations in the description. 
One thing to note though, if you're gonna come out here for the day or for a few days to camp, you'll need to bring all of the food and supplies that you'll need. There are no concessions of any kind on the island. You can rent bikes and kayaks from the ranger station though. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you some good ideas of places to visit if you come to southwestern Florida or the Fort Myers area. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye! Cabbage Key is a small island. Ugh, where